Libraries have vast collections of materials, but I don't know of any library that has everything for all their patrons. For many years, library patrons could only use materials owned by the library. Patrons with a special interest or need had to find a library that had materials on their topic and physically go there. Eventually, libraries began to cooperate and share materials upon request, and union library catalogs shared what materials were available. When computers developed, a system of online library catalogs networked together to build the OCLC, or Online Computer Library Center. The OCLC catalog of over 16,000 libraries in over 100 countries is called WorldCat. Using this system, library staff can search for a title and find what libraries have that title and request the title for their patrons. It's amazing how smoothly this works. ILL is the acronym for Interlibrary Loan and most public and academic libraries offer this service for their patrons. Quite literally, materials can be requested from around the world, although usually libraries try to get materials from the library that is closest. It is usually quicker. Any library patron can request materials from their library, although there have been limitations. For many years, this service was limited to college and university faculty because they needed to do research to maintain a level of competency and awareness of issues in their discipline. Graduate students were added to the list because their research needs to be comprehensive and access to all materials on their topic is important. Eventually, public libraries opened this service to anyone wanting materials for any reason, including research and recreational reading. Libraries develop their collections for their patrons' use and develop policies that reflect that. Often libraries do not lend other libraries recently published materials. The new materials are available for their own patrons first. In addition, non-print materials such as videos, music, and realia such as models and rare or specialized materials are often not available for interlibrary loan. Materials a library has access to through a license agreement are not available. That would void the contract agreement with the providing agency. This includes most electronic resources such as e-journals and e-books. So for many articles that are indexed in a database but the full text is not available, an interlibrary loan request has to be filled through a library that subscribes to the print version of the periodical. The interlibrary loan system is fairly simple. A patron communicates the need for a specific title to the library staff, often using a form. The library staff locates a library that has the item and submits a request. The library that has it sends the item to the requesting library. The due date is determined by the lending library and there may be other limitations, such as having to be used within the walls of the library. When the item is received, the requesting library notifies the patron the item has arrived for their use, within the limitations posed by the lending library. Now just in case any of you are curious about the details, the OCLC system is called WorldCat and is included in the list of databases available through ISU. It began as a tool for librarians to use for interlibrary loan, but also for cataloging information. You see, for each library to determine the call number and the subject headings for each title takes quite a bit of time, and if a library enters that information in the system, other libraries that purchase the title could add it to their system and make the book available for their patrons quickly. I did a search for a specific title with the author's last name, and I could limit my results to any of the formats listed, or leave it open. And this is how 398 libraries entered the title in the catalog, with the subject headings and classification numbers for the Dewey Decimal System and the Library of Congress System. At the top, the link for the libraries that own this item provides a list of libraries that have it. Since I access the system from Idaho Falls, Idaho, the Idaho libraries are listed first, then Utah and Washington. 
On the right is the code for the library in the OCLC system. Now don't worry about finding the library that has the title. Just know this is how libraries do it. To submit your request on the ISU Library webpage, under the My Library account, choose Interlibrary Loan. You will have to log in with your ISU identification number and last name, and then register your personal information if this is your first time requesting material through Interlibrary Loan. Then, on the left, choose the format of the item you want to request, and the appropriate form will be there. There is a different form for each of the formats listed, so be sure to choose the correct format. Note that the system automatically puts a date six weeks from the day you submit the request. Make sure that day works for you. You can change the date, but anything less than three weeks drastically limits your chances of getting the article. Also, make sure you include the name of the database where you found the citation. That is very important if there are any questions about your request. After the form is completed, click on Submit Request. And the next screen should appear like this, with a title in the box. When the item has been received, you will receive an email with the information to log into your Elliott account, which is the Interlibrary Loan System. On the left, there is a link to view the electronically received articles, which should provide a list of titles and a link to a PDF version of the article. The article will only be available on this system for 30 days. You are encouraged to print it for your own use. Although there is no charge for this service, the library has to pay fees to publishers when a title is requested often. So, don't lose materials you have requested. There will be a fee for duplicate requests. Check your list of previous requests before submitting a request, especially if you have researched your topic before. And remember, anything can be requested. Just ask a librarian. If you want my assistance, please contact me.